Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chase, and this is All Things Realm. Today, we are looking at the Feast FM603. Now, when you look at the Feast, you can tell this is a direct homage to the Shard Meal, specifically the RM67-02, specifically the green. Now, when you put a picture of the RM6702 right next to the Feast FM603, you can tell that it is almost, I would say, a replica of the watch, but it is a direct homage. Now, let's just go ahead and get right into the specs, and we'll talk about that at the end. The Tourneau-shaped case of the watch is 316L stainless steel, and the actual case itself is wedged between two pieces of green carbon fiber on the front and the back. There's yellow striping inlaid within the green, and it gives it a really nice vibrant pop that I think is pleasing to the eye. This is probably why the RM originally did it. The dimensions of the watch measure at 43 millimeters by 50 millimeters with a thickness of 16 millimeters. It may seem thick, but it's still 10 millimeters slimmer than the Rolex Deep Sea. The rubber strap is integrated with slotted vents nearest to the case, then tapering into a fold over clasp. The watch wears comfortable with the strap, even with its large size. Even with a large size, I wouldn't say it's necessarily cumbersome, but it is a statement piece. The dial of the watch is deceiving, and the thing that I like the least about the watch is the dial. The dial may seem to be skeletonized, featuring a mechanical movement, but the barrel spring at the 12, the gear train that runs to the 6, they are all simulated and fake. I understand why they did this. The automatic movement featured is probably a cheap, off-the-shelf, and non-decorated movement, but for the $600 plus price point, I think they could have opted for a better movement, like the Oblivio, and kept it actually skeletonized where you see the movement inside. Instead, what they decided to do was fake it until they made it. And I say that because if you look at the front plate and the back plate of the watch, they are completely false. And the small automatic movement inside, which is unknown at this point, I've looked on Feces website, I've looked on vlogs, and I've looked on Reddit and all these other platforms, and nobody seems to know what movement is inside of this watch. I think that's because nobody wants to tear apart a $650 watch that they paid their hard-earned money for just to find out what kind of movement is inside. This, to me, is extremely disappointing. A few things that I think really though make this watch above other watches in the same price point is the fact that yes they do use carbon fiber on the front and on the back and it is wedged over a 316L stainless steel case. They do use sapphire on the front and on the back which is also good to see and the watch boasts 50 meters of water resistance which to me is the minimum water resistance you need for a sports style watch. 50 meters means you can actually hop in a pool and you don't have to worry about it. Whereas some people to include watch companies and I'm looking at you, Sega Design, you need more than 30 meters of water resistance when you have a sports model of watch. You need a minimum of 50 meters of water resistance. So it's good to see that they at least have that 50 meters. On the wrist, it definitely fits large. Like I said earlier, this is a statement piece. The oversized case on my seven and a quarter inch wrist is intentional and it does turn heads. The Feast branding is not overly done with it's printed very small near the 12 o'clock position. Now it does say China made just below the six, which I think is unnecessary. It's sort of like the Swiss made brand. Why would you really put China made on the watch, if not to simulate that there should be writing there at the six o'clock, sort of like the RM has writing at the six and has writing at the 12. It's too much of a game between homage and replica watch, if you ask me. The screws on the front and back must be functional in some way as there is no other obvious way to get to the movement inside. The crown is oversized 
and is very easy to grip, making winding easy and time setting just as easy. The RM67-02 is listed on Chrono 24 at over $250 thousand dollars which is not obtainable to 99.9% .9 of the watch wearing world so this may be a decent alternative if you like the green but if you like the red I would go with the Oblivio now the reason I say that is because the Oblivio here that I have in my hand that if you want to see a review of the video I'll leave a card right here this uses a skeletonized movement however you can see most of the movement. Now they do have sort of a facade or faux bridge when it comes to a barrel spring here or a gear there, but basically the entire movement is exposed, whereas the feast itself is not. The feast itself is completely covered in fake decoration, which I'm not really a big fan of. For $650, I feel like Feast could have done more like this $350 Oblivio. I think that this is a better value. This is also sapphire on the top, carbon fiber wedge between 316L stainless steel, but this is in red and this is in green. I couldn't find this in green at all, but if you like the green, if you like the RM67-02 and you can't afford to spend the you know, quarter million dollar house price on a watch, then this is a decent alternative, but I think that $650 is a lot to pay for any watch that doesn't give you more. Yes, it does have carbon fiber inlay. Yes, it does have an automatic movement. Yes, it does have sapphire crystals. All that could be done at half the price. Feast, I feel, has always been slightly overpriced. And honestly, if you ask my opinion, I would say no on this watch unless you have a real hard on to get one yourself. Now, if you like videos and videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see on this channel. I am gonna do a full comparison on all the RM homages that I have here. I have the Wish Do It, which is a quartz movement. I have the Oblivio, which is a automatic movement. And then of course I have the Feast here, which is an automatic movement as well. I think you could do better uh, for 650 bucks, but we're gonna go over uh, from each price point, 250, 350, and 650 dollars to see if the value is there. Uh, you guys already know my opinion on the Feast in this review. Now, my recommendation uh, to you guys is leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see on this channel. I'm gonna be releasing a shorts video every single day, a full review video like this every three to four days. Make sure you guys are hitting that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop all of these videos. Until next time.